Hey everyone, welcome back to my um, Football Manager 21 save. Uh, my name is Waylands and I am currently managing Birmingham City. Uh, this is my self-imposed Karanka challenge. Um, basically the idea of this is to play with Karanka squad and um, at the end of the season, let's see if Karanka beats me or if he indeed makes it to the end of the season. Um, it hasn't been easy so far. We only have two strikers of any real note. Uh, limited attacking options in general. And a whole shitload of average to mediocre midfielders uh, who tend to be on the defensive and non-creative side. Uh, we have struggled with injury throughout the season. Um, got hit by viruses over Christmas. And now the injury bug has come back. Um, we're, we're, so the first thing we're going to do is going to have a look at training. Uh, so I, I, I did update the the training in, um, intensity recently. Um, everyone seems to be happy with training. Uh, let's go to individual. Uh, where is it? Uh, ah, here it is. So, um... No, I can't find it. There is somewhere that tells me how tough their training is uh, for each player. Or I might have to do it individually. I think I might have to do it individually. Oh, we're going to have a look anyway. So we'll go to squad. We'll do it this way. So he's happy with his training so far. Uh, double training intensity. Uh, what's his injury risk? Low. Uh, high. Physio. Normal. As you can see, like we got like shit tons of injuries. He's even only on normal intensity. Double intensity. Let, let's back the the kift off a bit here. Double I've yeah, I've just struggled with injuries and um probably me trying to get my head around the um the new training. Uh we're we'll going for half intensity. Very light workload. So what does double give him? It only gives him a medium workload. I'm gonna go with normal. I'm gonna have to uh, have a look somewhere, but there is a um <laughs> a better way of doing this, I'm sure. Uh Nearly went to done. His injury risk is low. Uh, who have we got here? McGree very high. So we're going to... One to two weeks holiday. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're getting close to the end of the season, I guess. So he, he's just getting really jaded. Unfortunately, I'm under selection... Um, issues now and <laughs> it's going to be an ongoing problem uh, for me I think uh, he's going on alright can I also try to carry oh he's away from the club uh, Yanni Injurious heightens a low condition. Yeah, well, I think it is what it is, guys. It's, um, I'm not sure there's a lot I can do about it or how much training actually has to do with the um, the low condition coming in here, but um, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. So we're just going to continue and head on. Um, yeah, zzz, I agree. I agree. Uh, again, injury, we've been plagued with conceding goals in injury time we're getting FM'd hard I think oh that's the fitness of the players uh, I just don't have the subs to cover um, and this um, playing with crank excuse me let me just fix the cam there I should have checked that before um, and playing with crank and squad is actually um, starting to really 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 cause a 
uh, cause a few problems uh, as far as uh, attacking midfield options go. Um, like that's that's during a ball challenge. That's that's not me overtraining him physically. That's that, that that's yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm just I'm just getting FM'd really, but but look at the list. Look at the list. Look at this list of injuries. Clark Salter, that was a big one. But having said that, that's the one area of the pitch is defence that I do have good cover in. Uh, no, you can all leave you to the physio, son. Um, friend back soon. This was a big one. Lecco was really starting to play well. That was a big one. Uh, Toral. Unfortunate. Um, I really, really, really need to give Sanchez and McGree a rest. And... There, there's Sanchez and McGree's replacements right there. Um, unfortunate, but it is what it is. So uh, we've got David Davis back off loan as well. He's going to have to play. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of him, um, but he's going to have to play. He's just going to have to play. Um, so who have we got this week? we got, we got Barnsley. Where the hell are Barnsley? Uh, they've just had Freddie Lundberg take over, uh, name from the past. Uh, they're 24th in the championship, so and we have them at home, I think. No, away. Um, this is a big chance to rest Sanchez and perhaps Pedersen, but again, I, Pedersen has to play. I've got no other decent left-backs. It's been an issue with the Birmingham City squad over many years, actually, left-backs. Um, Jutkovic is... Um, that's what Hogan was injured as well, did I see? But I lost Hogan. Yeah, I've lost Hogan for five to seven weeks. Ankle ligaments. Ay, 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 ay. This um I'm I am i am being trolled pretty hard here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna select Jeremy Bella for this game. We're gonna try and give Sanchez a rest and we'll let the young kid Fernandez start again. See if he can develop. Uh, Harley Dean's got some injury issues, but it is what it is. San Jose moved back to his regular spot. Um, uh, I really want to add another tactic here. Um, can I add more here? Add more columns? So that column... Um... Uh, where is it? <sighs> hmm, general? Um... I really need to get my views sorted. I sort of jumped into this and got the game. It was all like, ooh, squeak, new game. And um, didn't sort of things out. Anyway, I sorted it out. Last, so I think last five appearances, um, Sunjic has been a bit poor. Has he? No, it's seven. He's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thinking of someone else. But again, tired. So I'm having to play McGree at Mazala. Um, he's knackered. Uh, I'll try and give him a rest too if I can. Uh, a sub stage through the game. But these guys are only lasting the half time. See how knackered they are. Um, we're going to go ahead and put Dan Crowley back in the team for McGree. Try and rotate these two to the end of the season. Kift and Bell being a club stalwart there. And um, I'm going to have to make use of these boys here. Uh, Maxine Collin here. Who's he wanted by? That'll be interesting to know. Why can't I click on that? Uh, that's a... mm. So, which brings me to something. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start my signings for next season. So, I just want to bring this guy in. Oh, I'm just going to love saying his name, I know. If any of you follow Dowjeet, I think you can see where this is going. Uh, 
Uh, shortlist. Anthony Dick Steel. I think he is the man I want. Uh, what is his contract end? Twenty twenty-five. Uh. I don't make an offer for him now. Let's get it out of the way with 1.2. I'm pretty happy with that, I think. That would go through for next season, so I'm not breaching my... Yep, that's all right. Uh, we're going to make that offer. I'm going to go ahead and do it now. While I've got some of last this year's, this season's transfer budget still sorted. So, here we go for uh, Dick Steele. And um, Coley here. Um, we're gonna have to look at uh, some backup for left back too, but that's a lot of things to look at off stream at some stage. Um, if you guys do enjoy this, uh, don't forget to uh, hit that like button and subscribe so you know when I go live with um, um, other streams. I also play World of Tanks, so you'll see some World of Tanks streams and content on this here as well. So we're going to push through. Even if we hit the Premier League, I think Dick Steele will at least be an excellent backup option um, for me and the club. Um... <laughs> I do like these social media posts every now and then. Uh, my three-year-old son just came and said, there's no way Dick Steele will fit into Begum's system. He should be stay here. Dick Steele will fit into anyone's system. What Dick Steele does, he fits in. Oh, no. I went there. I went there, chat. Shit. That is bad. Anyway, so Dick Steele offer accepted. That's not too bad. All right, let's see if he's interested in coming. So basically whether he's interested in coming on is how well I do this season. Um, he wants to go to Forest. I am really, really, really struggling with probably my reputation as a manager in the game and the, the club's overall reputation, I think, at the moment as per uh, signing players. Oh, so, uh, I was streaming an episode on Twitch recently and... Um, I tried to get a guy in from Liverpool on loan and he snubbed me because he wanted to go to a bigger club like Derby County. Derby effing county. Holy shit. Holy shit. I was going to go none. Uh, press conference about to begin. Radio. We're going to attend the press conference this time. Hopefully it's a quick one. Uh, how will players respond to the disappointment against Huddersfield last night? Like put things right as soon as possible. Barnsley Curry 24th. Uh, believing ourselves, we're going to go with a positive mindset. This is a normal stock standard questions. I think Freddie Lundberg's a terrific hire. He'll be a sensational manager. I don't want to go into detail about individuals with fucking Maxime Collin because he's leaving the club. 
Uh, why is he leaving the club? Well, I promised to sign a striker and that Liverpool kid uh, stiffed me as per to increasing the strength of the forward pack. Forward pack. It's egg chasing, Neil. Uh, as for chasing, um, getting a striker. And I didn't meet the promise, so he's left. I couldn't convince him otherwise, so that's it. One of my Birmingham City heroes, Maxim Collin, is leaving the club. Uh, hence the effort to sign Dick Steele. Uh, Crowley is good. I'm sure he. I need him to impress. I need him to impress and score goals. So we've had a bit of a tactical change as well since the last time. We're still playing very wide, but we're now playing through the middle. It really seems to open up. Um, there seems to be a lot of space in the middle because we play so wide. And uh, we're scoring a lot of uh, long goals. Uh, and goals with uh, box, box to box midfielder and Mazala um, getting into the area late and connecting with crosses. Lundberg admires McNoddy. He's a big fan of mine. Jens Lehmann. Yeah, there's. Um... Oh, he's not, he's not in the game. That's a bit sad. Um... Well, not my save anyway. I'm sure he's in the game, but um... what can you do? Radio. Preston Bournemouth, that's going to be a big one. That's going to be a big one. So let's have a quick look at the championship table before we head into the match. Uh, we are currently sitting some way off the playoff places now. This is a concern. I mean, relegations are the problem. Uh, finishing top half like I promised the players we'd go for and the club would go for, I don't think it will be a problem. But we need to start winning these games against these shitter teams. It's like we're struggling. Like we beat Bournemouth a few weeks ago. We beat Bournemouth 3 1, and then, yeah. And then we lose to uh, freaking the likes of Barnsley and Sheffield Wednesday. But we're not about to lose to Barnsley. Um, as much as I like Freddie Lewenberg when he paid for Ansel and his coloured hair and all that sort of shit, um, he's going to lose. He's going to lose. Um, the players are actually getting a good rest coming up here um, after this match. Um, I might try that at some stage during the game. We're going to start with my regular, um, uh, with with my regular attacks. Who's this? Herbie Kane, not Harry Kane. I was about to say, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I was like, Barnsley can sign Harry Kane, and I can't get like a eighteen year old at Liverpool for loan. Jesus. Uh, pictures only okay. Uh. I don't think I'm going to make those changes. I'm gonna. I'm really going to risk my um my team here. That's like I I, I can't afford to uh, afford to lose anymore. Uh, Prieto. Uh. Our position. Hang on. Let's sort this out. Let's get the young Zach in here. Uh, oh, Jesus, I hope I don't have to bring him on. I hope I don't have to bring him on. Uh, how did Kiffenbeld go last game, just out of curiosity? One four. Do you know what? I'm going to give this lad a go. I am going to give this lad a go. Um, I've given Gary Gardner numerous matches lately and um, hasn't really stepped up to the plate, so... Here we go. Uh, Bella, I think, needs to be on inverted winger on that side. Yeah, he does. Um, so we're going to go inside forward, probably. No inverted winger. No inside forward. On attack. I want him up there. I want him up in there. Up in their face. Yes, I know Jeremy Bella's not fully fit, but what can you do? What can you do? Neither is Sanchez. You know, Crowley, I need him in the middle as much as he can play on the wing. These are the, these are the trials and tribulations of being a Birmingham City fan. Radio, the crowd, the crowd are here now and there's a bit of noise in the background. No, I'm not going to share on the weak foot. Uh, ignore for now. Uh, I want this boy to step up. I want this guy to do well. And I want the Duke to score. Like the vice captain's out in the pitch, he's carrying the armband. 
Time to put an end to this poor run of form, boys. Come on. Let's do it. The Duke kicks off. All right. We're going to pop up on extended highlights for a bit, and um, we'll see how we go. Then we'll drop the key highlights if the game starts to go well. Uh, try and speed through, get a couple of games done this episode. So Pedersen now. The ball goes back to Mark Roberts. Back to Pedersen. A little triangle there between him and Sumjic. Yep, that's, that's what I like to see. Dan Crowley. Crowley finds the Duke. The Duke early attempt. That was, that was great build-up play by Birmingham there. Great build-up play by Birmingham. Is that better? Yeah. I'm just adjusting the level on my mic here. Righty-o. Let, let, let's see how we go here. Come on, Birmingham City. <sighs> really? Like, I pulled hamstring now as well. I, I've After all of this shit... Uh, I just, I just, yeah, my giddy freaking aunt. Hey, 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 hey. I got Sanchez, that's it. That's it. And he's going to be naked by the end of the game. He is going to be naked by the end of the game. Um, Winger. Attack. Uh, Not good. Not good. Chick Keita. ex City left back. Boy, could I do it in there. Woodrow with the box green. Defenders deal with it well. Defenders deal with it well again. Yeah, Bella's really struggling there. Oh, great play by Pedersen. Cuts it out. The freezer in. Woodrow. Ray Ethridge deals with the danger. Nice. I don't mind pushing them out wide. Though. I'm confident of my defense dealing with those air balls. Sunjic. Interesting free kick. We get fleeced. But uh, McCachran's there to deal with the, deal with the crumbs. Pedersen finds the Duke. Target man can't bring it down. Frees you down with the ball. Dunjic cuts it out. Looking, looking well so far. Like the block's looking good. Oh, great ball for the Duke. The Duke. Oh, my Lord. What a fantastic chance that was. Again, the Duke leaving chances out there on the pitch. We could be 2-0 up by now. We should be at least 1-0 up. He's offside, isn't he? He is offside, isn't he? No. He's not offside. Okay. Looked like he was to me, but oh well. Apparently he wasn't. Woodrow. Yay. Balance, but we're also going to add um, a. Um, out of, we're going to go. Going to go use tighter marking here. I think. We're going to use tighter marking. Um, do I want to drop the defensive line back? No, I don't. I like that because we've got a lot of space. Uh, we'll leave that for now. I don't want to change too many things at once. Fernandez really shouldn't be in the team. Oh, Yanni and Gakotu. Sanchez off the bar. Oh, wow. That was close. That was really close. Looking good here for a goal, Birmingham City, but we need to, we need to score. Barnsley struggling with um, the balls over the top. That low line of engagement and that pass into space over the top is getting on there. It's on again. No, Pedersen's going with it this time. Sanchez. Back to Pedersen. Good partnership, that. Ivan Sumjic. Finds Fernandez in the wing. Fernandez into the Duke. That is not where I want the Duke shooting from. That is not where I want the Duke shooting from. Factors and subs. Uh, player. Uh, Edit, edit, edit. Um, I don't really put it in my shit this often. That's often. I really don't. He's a striker. He's, um, 
I don't want him tacking around on the edge of the area. He's he's like right, he's a target there, but he's there to lead the attack today. I don't have some ideas of what I might do next season with my system. Um, I'll talk about that in the next episode when I um, start building them. Well, Fernandez, nice. Fernandez again, does well, the young fella. This guy, Fernandez. I could really do with Fran Villaber right now. Let's see what I can do. Perhaps I need to put one of these boys back at home. Mujic. Jacker and Duke, Kinjic. No, the ball's cut out. Oh, saved by Roberts there. Saved by Roberts. Um, not by Roberts, by Etheridge, sorry. Again. My God. Makes me want to put booze in my tea at 6 in the morning. Here me. Andre Green. Hit Keita. Keita beats Fernandez. Ah, oh, puts the cross straight to Etheridge though. Good stuff. Good stuff. Etheridge now. Can't win the hand of Harm. Harm tied is up for Barnsley. Britain to Frisia. Frieza. Frieza frozen out by Sanchez. Woodrow! Off the. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We, we deal with it, that really well nine times out of ten, but today we're, we are struggling. Look at this XG here. It's like. Yeah. We're the better team. I don't know we're the better team. Um, tactics. But there's anything on on my tactics that I don't want on there. Uh, no, no, no. All good. Uh, we are being more expressive. <sighs> I want to go for try and work the ball in the box for a bit, but that sort of takes a target man out of it, yeah, it's not a tactic I'd like to play with the target man, if I had if I bring Wakefield on later I'll have a go with that Collins finds the pesky Woodrow that's a man more of the entire team Oh, the Duke again. That's three chances Jukovic has had this game. And three times that he's missed. Three times for the Duke. He's playing well, though. Not not keen to bring him off. Uh, what can I do subs-wise here? Who, who is not playing well? Uh, Dan Crowley. Dan freaking Crowley. Don't want to... Oh, I'm going to do it. I, I need the... Both both of these boys can come off, I think. Uh, really struggling for fitness as well. This is a good thing about the Duke, though. His like lack of games early in the season is really quite bloody fresh. He's really quite fresh. Oh, poor Yanni. Defense, the defense as a unit is not playing well. Defense as a unit is not playing well. Uh, it's in build. Actually, yeah, what? I'm going to do that. He could end up being my right back next year. Yeah, it's quite. If I have trouble signing the players I want to get, uh, Mikhail Kiftenbeld could be 
the starting right back for Birmingham City next season. I really need to get at these path paces like for my reputation club. Sanchez now. Sanchez. Sanchez beat his man. No, he can't. Thomas takes the ball now. Herbie Kane. Finds the Moles. Moles Woodrow again. The Greek. Off the bench. Doing the business straight away. Not the end of the pitch I want him to do the business on, but he's doing it at least. Hmm. Uh, so we're going to go attacking. And we're gonna, we've tried to chase the last couple of games, and it really hasn't gone well for me. Um, and I'm really a bit scared, if I'm honest. Um, Gary Gardner can come on for Cachran. That'll leave me one fatigue sub later in the match. Uh, and I will go attacking, but... I'll play a slightly deeper defensive line. A little bit, uh, a little bit higher line of engagement. And we're going good for cards, so we're going to get stuck in. Boom changes. And we're going to go back to the game. Odor, green, Moat. This is getting very frustrating for me here. My God, so green, Moat. And there's just Roberts misses the header. He just outright misses that header. And Patterson is not on his name. We're gonna run out the defence. Um, we're, we're gonna go hard here. We have to go hard. We have to go hard at these boys. I'm gonna break these shitheads. They play really well. Look, Jukovic with the bloody back heel. What's this shit? Jukovic, agree. Magic. Good build-up play here. Oh. I was about to say great build up here from Birmingham, but it turned out not to be so. McGree now finds Kiftenberg. Mikhail Kiftenberg. Fernandez, the young kid, finds McGree. Break the entire team. Shit, Eds. Come on, boys. The Duke. <sighs> so many chances for Lucas Jukovic in this game. And he. Oh. So frustrating at the moment. I'm really, really, I, I'm struggling at this point of the season. Um, Cuba really am. And that'll be the whistle. Oh no, that's it won't be. This is an embarrassing loss and a, a great move for Freddie Dornberg. But, um, Sitting from the set piece again. It's all over. Lucas Jukovic, so many shots on goal and not a single goal converted. Not a single goal. Not good. Not good. Hiding my true feelings there. Um, really running to throw the fucking bottle at them then. That's, that's bad. This sees Birmingham City stay at eighth place on the table and full, a full eight points away from the playoff places. Not good for us at all. Not a good sign for Birmingham City here. Yeah, uh, really thought we'd got a draw. I really thought we would have got a win there. I'm going to send the ass man to the comp to the Jeremy Belger injured. Look. He's off to the physio. 
uh, send the assistant. Uh, Soldier Villa. Barrage. Yeah, I'd really like to be able to arrest him. I'd really like to be able to arrest him. I really just don't. I, I don't have. But we got pretty light training this week. We really do. We have light training. Rest days. Look at this. We beat Norwich. We beat Bournemouth. Lose to freaking Barnsley. Oh um, hey, 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 hey. I mean we're maintaining our league position, but that 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 that's three losses on the trot now in the league. Um against average sides. Against average sides. Two shit sides and an average side. Not looking good. Duke had a shit day in front of goal. He did. He had a really shit day in front of goal. Three, three chances, at least there. All right, what's the next match? Home, Bristol City. Back kicks. Have a look. Not doing well here. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm really. I'm at a bit of a loss as to how we are going to deal with this long term. Is he playing well for them? He's playing all right. I am I allowed to recall him from loan at this stage in the season? Am I allowed to? It's like why he's there in the first place. I'd love to have him and Sanchez both playing inverted wing. Okay. Uh, oh, what can you do? What can you do? When does his contract run out? Next year. <sighs> I don't think I can add him to the squad. I don't think that's how it works. Hey, what's going on here? Between Pedersen and Sanchez, their problems developing. Was their partnership just breaking down? Ah, it's the role. Hmm. And they're both absolutely knackered. Look at this. Three of them knackered. I mean, I can give Santa to the rest. Holy beans right now. But wow. And uh, Max, he can come back uh, for the next one. Point four. You had a couple of chances now. Third, you really have. I had Kifta Bell go right back. That how I expected. I love it, but far out. It is stiffing me hard at the moment. Stiffing me hard. Um. Chances, yeah. I mean, the Duke, Mr. Sitter, the Duke again misses, the Duke again misses. I mean, it's really difficult to score balls when, yeah. Uh, 
the boss is absolutely right. We've got to do better. Um, everyone, everyone agrees. Morale's increased a bit, but it is starting to drop. It is starting to drop, which is not good. Not good. But we need to need to get moving. It's lowly Bristol City coming up. We need we need to score some goals. And we need to not cons the team's so knackered from injury and having to play game after game after game with this corona congested fixture that we're really just struggling. Struggling to do anything really good at the moment. I mean, look at how light training is this week. Look at how light training is this week. Uh, outfit defending attacking. I am going to change that slightly, though. I am going to change that slightly. Uh, technical. Actually, set pieces. Defending corners. Um, defending, defending free kicks. Um, a little bit of finishing training wouldn't go astray. Uh, how is that technical? Chance conversion has been really poor. Chance conversion has been really poor. Uh, then we're going to go with the normal. Defensive so. shape. And of course, attacking movement. Oh, I've done that one. Oh, well, that's a, that's a nice. That's a low intensity. Uh, a, a low intensity training schedule schedule this week for us. Uh, really needs to be low intensity. I, I can't. I can't afford a single injury now. Not a single injury. Even one more injury. That's it. That's going to really, really cause problems for me. So what else is going on? Um, well, I've got other things going on as well. Like I said, um, go um, over to uh, www.twitch.tv slash Waylands and um, check out some of the content i got going over there. Um, there is uh, some episodes of the save that you guys would have missed over there. Um, I am streaming to uh, both platforms at the moment. Um, as is probably quite obvious by you guys even seeing this that I am... Um, Quite new to the whole streaming game, and I'm slowly improving my setup and my style and whatnot. And yeah, I, I, look, as I said, I enjoy it regardless. But yeah, there is also World of Tanks go over there. I play with my mates um, over there. We have a bit of fun and a bit of banter. We enjoy interacting with um, chat over there. Yeah, if you like a bit of something different and a bit of Aussie banter for some Aussie boys, head over to www.twitch.tv forward slash Waylands and check it out also i think starting a new save over there um also big shout out to uh bully beef and um 
just did these on um on Twitch. Uh, both of them have been really helpful um uh to me to start with and um uh STFC. Oh, what's his name? Oh, I've forgotten his name now. I'll I'll put a link to him in, in, on the comments. Um, re really good football manager community on Twitch. So if you like this content, uh, please head over there. Um, support some of the guys. Uh, Mr. Diz at the moment's got a one club challenge going on for his uh, followers. Uh, so the idea is uh, once a month we play with the club. Um, uh, compact uh, saves with um, very little uh, headroom on the PC, so everything runs quick. Uh, one season with Inter Milan. Transfer uh, limited to one per window. Um, sell as many as you like, but only one per window. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, um, I'd like to play a friend, but I think he's a bit unfit to bring straight back into the team. We're going to have a look at the tactics, though. So, yeah, have a look at that. There's, like I said, there's a great community, football manager community on Twitch. So, go check it out. Yeah, either that relationship's there deteriorating or I'm missing out on something here. Uh, yeah, a friend could probably start, but he's definitely coming in for Bella at the least. Um, Patterson needs a rest. There's a lower side. Fernandez getting a lot more match time than I would have expected him to get. A lot more. He's um, he's really not good enough. If I'm quite honest, he's not good enough. Um, but I am a little stuck for options at the moment. Um. The one option I do have is trying Clayton out there. Perhaps we'll, perhaps we'll try that for this game. We're going to move Clayton out there. And um, Um, who do I play there? You know what? Mr. Fixit can play there for a match, and we'll see if we can get him to have a good match there. Friend defend here. Yeah. Uh, Colin all good there. Rightio. Let's see if this works any better. It's really difficult this game when you get a lot of injuries and you're trying to actually create something. So, um, I mean, tactically we played all right. Like I created the sort of chances that my team wants to create. Um, well, Dick Steele set the side for Birmingham. Nice, nice, Dick Steele. We have the boy. Yeah, they keep telling me the low level of training is causing the poor form, but as soon as the training level goes up, I get injured. Uh... Doesn't have a lot of strength. Does not have. So we we will change it up for him. I do like the boy. No. No, that's right. Don't want any of him in there. No, no, all good, all good.
Anthony Dick Steele, welcome to the club. Go now, Blue Nose. Oh, Blue Nose. All right, I admit it. I signed him for the memes mainly, but the only takeover was not to be relieved. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to read that. Yeah, right. Well, don't uh real life fans actually really hope that comes true. So we got. Live kickoff, live match against Brentford. All right, so let's go into the final episode and let's see how we go. That's the idea, is to keep them fresh. Perhaps it wasn't hard enough on them early in the season uh, as far as training goes. Really need to start finding a way to... But uh, I just been completely fucked over by injury. Um, but honest. French. Aussie, I swear, get used to it. Yep. That's only a pull the calf. Calf. Miles away, miles away. Go, okay, tactics. Oh, position. Come on. Prieto back on the bench. God damn it, Prieto. I gotta fix that bug. Really annoying. Hitting. No, I've picked my squad. All right, let's get into it, boys. Let's get into it. Birmingham City at home against Bristol City. We already had a slight change in line up there with formation. There we go. This is Young. The Duke is there. Turn up the Duke. Was the ball nicely for Crowley. Crowley finds Colin. Colin finds Kiftenbeld. Kiftenbeld with a good ball early. Sanchez finds Bentley. Good play though by Bentley. Good play. Good to see um, the Duke getting into some space there. Hang on. Uh, not instructions. That's happens in stubs. No player. I want the Duke to get more channels as well. I didn't like the sound of that, and I'm probably glad I didn't see it. Alright. Things are quiet so far. Alright, nearly half an hour gone. Silva finds Woodburn with the throw. Woodburn dribbles into the centre. Defence holding up shape. <laughs> Excellent shot. That an even better save from Etheridge. Dallas in the tap. Strip by Crowley. Sessignon. Nagi. Great cross from Sessignon there. Come on, Birmingham City. Adam Sanchez, George Frank, Roberts, speculative ball from Roberts, Birmingham lose possession. Ah, oh, 
De Silva wide. No. Hey, hey, Caramba. Hey, Caramba. Oh, Colin nearly lost that. Dean, that's a bad ball from Harley Dean. Crowley. Colin to Kiftenveld. Back to Colin. Dick holds the ball. Finds Kiftenveld. Kiftenveld finds Crowley. Crowley, the playmaker of the team. Duke! Whee! That was good play. That was good play. Duke is back to goal again, though. Like the crosses in. Seems to be the boys score his head. Sessignon though. That was a great run from Stephen Sessignon. I'll give it a corner. Goes into the crowd and into safety for Birmingham City. Sessignon having a great game. Friend. Roberts. They're pressing up really high here. They are pressing up very high. The Duke. The Duke. Sunjic. Ah, plenty of players on the left here. Good friend doing it. Sanchez. Duke. Crowley. Hey. We are getting plenty of opportunities in the penalty box and we are just not converting. We are not converting. Uh, disappointing, boys. Disappointing. Disappointing. Come on. Robert's playing well. Sunjic's playing well. Sanchez playing very well. But just no conversions. Look at them lining up out wide there. Oh, Crowley. Crowley with the ball now. Crowley's got the Duke in the middle. Crowley's got the Duke in the middle. Ball goes out for a throw. Robert's Colin. Sanchez. Sanchez again. No, no. Lack of communication there between him and George Friend. Ball goes out harmlessly. Wow. We really need to score here. We really need to score. When we've got the ball, then we're looking good. We're looking good. Etheridge. Dean. He plays the ball to freaking no one. Alas. Callas. Need a who? And tap. Nagi. Sanchez cuts it out. Sanchez on the break now. Here's the Duke with him. Are they going to sort something out here? No. Sanchez gets stripped of the ball. Simjic recovers. Gifton Bell. He's offside. Houston Bell is offside. That is unfortunate. Crowley. Maxim Collin. Crowley. The Duke. No. Houston Bell. The Duke this time. No. Oh my God. We can't score to save our freaking lives here. There's no good. Crowley playing well on the wing though. I am very impressed. Crowley playing very well on the wing. Corner for Sessignon. Again, good delivery, but unable to convert in the box there, Bristol City. Sessignon. Oh. Goal on scramble. The Duke clears it up. Just holds on. No, he gets stripped by Woodburn. Right. They're, they're coming at us. All right, so... I don't know, they, they are coming at us pretty hard. I'm tempted to put on pass in this case. But there's enough balls in place already. Um, I'm, a, I'm in two minds here. I'm in really two minds. Oh, 
Aber nicht, nee, kann auch nicht. I'll give, try not to get Sanchez to last as long as he can. It'll only be another five minutes or so, but it, it might get me the goal. There it is. Clayton. Sanchez. Sanchez runs forward. Absolutely knackered, but gives it all anyway. But there's a corner for Birmingham City. Luke Clayton, Sanchez, Sanchez. Oh. Right, we gotta get attacked from the subs. Team on the whole has played really well. Um, the draw will be disappointing, but a uh, loss will be even worse. And we've got a habit of conceding in this last five minutes, so I hope we don't. Sessignon. Sessignon's had a great game. Uh, we've been involved in a lot of highlights anyway. Silva. Out for the corner. No, goal kick. Do it. We'll sort that one. Good burn. Williams. Hagi. Good Crowley. Crowley down the break. Has support. Oh. Right idea from Fernandez, but miss hit the ball. Had the right idea, but miss hit the ball. A little too much weight in that. A doubter. Blocked by him. Got to Roberts. Roberts had a killer game. Duke was stripped of the ball. Woodburn. Again, we concede in the last five minutes of the match. There's plenty of fresh legs there. I don't get it. So the Duke gets stripped there, and that and that's basically the cause of the goal. And then Sundic gets stripped by Woodburn. Great ball from Woodburn. Ethridge left with nothing we can do about it, and in goes the ball. That is a terrible goal to concede. That is a terrible goal we can see. Um, oh my god. My god. It's been a frustrating couple of episodes. It's been a really frustrating couple of episodes here. And we're really struggling now. Etheridge, Dean, along with the Duke. Duke is down for Clayton. And that's it. It's all over. That. This is not happy. There's some players are uh, pulling their finger out and some players aren't. And it's just really, really, really shitting me off. I'm really, really terrible. Not good from from there. Actually, it was more than not good. It was outright terrible. Outright terrible. We'll turn the press conference ourselves this time. I'm going to give the boys a dress down in here. Start press conference. We'll never get the win today. Just got to be focused on what we do, I think. I'd rather not discuss that right now. Yeah. 
Jay-Z and Chris was like, oh. Uh. Oh, I don't know how to answer that. Yeah, you need to believe in yourselves a bit more, boys. I thought there was a need to replace him. I would have done so. Daniel Bailey had a great game. We're still picking up the player of the match awards. There was no strong performances from other players. Righty, eh? Well, that wraps up another somewhat disappointing episode of the Cranker Challenge here uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, uh, I'm a bit lost for words at the moment, and I have lots of words. So, if you do like these videos, please hit like and uh, hit the subscribe button. So, yeah, uh, and hit the notification bell so you're aware of any further videos. Oh, okay, that's just the scouting. Um, yeah, have a great day, guys. I've been Wayland, and I will see you for the next episode of the Cranker Challenge in a few days.